Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. This week is all about new-to-me vendors. So on Monday, I posted Teddy B's. Today, I'm posting Salt Mountain Melts. And Friday, I'm posting K's Scented Melts. So new-to-me vendors, two were pre-orders, and one was a ready-to-ship. But anyway, I am going to be talking today about Salt Mountain Melts. Now, Salt Mountain Melts... I have found her through YouTube, basically two quick wicks, Lexi, if you watch her videos, she's amazing, love her channel, love her pep, her quality of her videos is impeccable. But anyway, I hear a lot about Salt Mountain Melts, and everybody who knows Salt Mountain and knows Amanda says her stuff sells fast. So, I was waiting, and ever since I heard from her, she did not have any chances of openings except for this pre-order. Now, this pre-order opened, I'm not exactly sure when, but when it opened, it opened for an hour or two, which was like crazy. She opened for an hour or two. I ordered, she had souffles, and she had loaves. So she only had 12 cents available, so I got 10 souffles and two loaves to try out all the scents. It was not a really bad um, price. I don't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, I wanted to try her scents. I'm excited. There are more holiday scents, but there are some, like, not as holiday-based scents in the box. I did get a little business card, thank you for supporting my small business, and I got a candy cane and then a couple little candies. I will say, right off the bat, like, I prefer to get samples than candy. I know that sounds picky, but like, you are purchasing, and it is a wax company, and I don't know, I just don't like getting candy in the mail, but that's me. Anyway, I have 10 souffles and two loaves to get into, and I'm excited, so let's get into it. First souffle that I have is Rocky Mountain Christmas, and I think what sets Salt Mountain Melts apart from the crowd is her labels. She makes each of these labels to fit the scent, which I think is so cute. So this one has like a little Christmas tree cut out, and the notes are fresh balsam, sugar cookies, and buttercream. Pour 1027, so she includes the pour dates, and she includes the scent notes, which I love. The bags, though, I will say, have these little hang tags, which I'm not really a fan of because they can rip. So this is the wax, and these pop right out of the tin, which means it's like a harder wax. This is really yummy. It's like a rich, creamy sugar cookie with a little bit of balsam. But I will say, the balsam in here smells like grass. Like, it's super fresh. Like, I almost feel like a lot of vendors' balsam oil is, like, mixed with, like, sparkling snow or, like, woodiness. This is, like, just, like, really green. Like, the needles of a balsam tree. Very fresh. But I do definitely pick up on the creaminess of the sugar cookie and the buttercream. It's different. It's definitely, I've never smelled a balsam like that in vendor wax. Next, we have By the Fireplace, and it has a little fireplace on it, and this is Chestnut, Clove, Smoky Wood, Vanilla, and Neroli, and I'm obsessed with the way this looks. Now, when I read this, it's interesting, because Chestnut, Clove, Smoky Wood, Vanilla, great, warm, smoky, rich, and then Neroli, which is orange blossom. Um, is this one going to pop out of the tin? No. No. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's so crazy because I think I'm just circling in on the Neroli because it's so out of the box with everything else. I get like chestnut and clove. It is a little bit of like a warm, like woody scent, almost like like a smoky fire. But then you smell orange blossom. So to me, it's, it's really strange. I don't know. I don't know why. Neroli's in there, but I definitely pick it up, and I mean, I, I love the wax, but like, as I'm rubbing it, yeah, it just smells, it's interesting, like I said, it's like smoky, warm fire, and then orange blossom, I don't know, we'll see, next we have Pine Ridge Farm, and it has a little barn on there, and it's fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Now, I do remember this one is her dupe for the perfect Christmas from Bath and Body Works, which I'm not a fan of, but it's her own creation. I like this. 
I, I like this a lot. The, the Bath and Body Works one is like, to me, it's the worst candle. 100%. Like, the worst Christmas candle. I, I do not like it. But this one... Cinnamon sugar is in the f first front and foremost. For sure. It's like that like churro type of scent. Like that really spiced cinnamon with sweet sugar. And then the pine comes in really lightly though. Which is what I appreciate. And then as far as toasted marshmallow goes, it's just like really creamy. But if you like The Perfect Christmas, give this a try because I do not like The Perfect Christmas and that's one of my favorites in this order. Next we have Snow Globe and this is Spearmint, Icy Peppermint, and Butter Mints. I was excited about this because I love a good creamy mint. This is not creamy mint. It smells like a stick of spearmint gum. It's literally all it smells like to me. It's pretty. It's like blue with like snowflakes. Yep. That's it. I don't, I don't, mm, it's interesting. I don't get butter mints, I don't get peppermint, I get spearmint gum. Okay, it's interesting. Next we have The Lodge, and this one is Palo Santo and Milk and Cookies. You know how I feel about Palo Santo. This one's pretty basic, just gray with glitter. This is yummy. Okay, so the milk and cookies in this, I really can smell it, which is interesting because typically when it's blended with things, it's not like as like woodsy as Palo Santo. And Palo Santo, you definitely get that creamy woodiness. But then the milk and cookies, it's like, for some reason I picture like, remember those cans that you put cookie dough in, like you press the gun and it like propped up, plopped a cookie mold on a tray. It's kind of like that, like a really good, almost like shortbread cookie mixed with Palo Santo. It's really interesting. All of her scents are really interesting, I've noticed. <sighs> Next is Sweet and Salty. Now this, I think, is hilarious because it has sugar, butter, flour. Just like my tattoo from Waitress. Sugar, butter, flour. And this says, soft pretzel, sugar cookies, sweet buttery dough, and vanilla frosted cake. Pretzel scares me. It's that same pretzel. But I will say, when I had that pretzel from L3, cold, I did not like it. But when I warmed it, oh my god. So I'm really excited to melt this. It's just a creamy pretzel. Just like a really creamy, buttery pretzel. No, I don't really get much salt, to be honest. I get more creamy, yeasty, buttery, soft pretzel. It's good. I'm just going to be really interested to see how it is on warm, because like I said, that note, when it's on warm, I really, really like it. it. Like, when it fills the air, it just fills the air with such a creaminess and a warmth and like, oh my god, I want to eat it. Speaking of eating the air, we have Cinna Twists, and this is cinnamon sugar, nutmeg, twisted pretzel, and bakery dough. So the sweet and salty says soft pretzel. This says twisted pretzel. So I assume this is the like hard pretzel scent. It's definitely more salty, but I still smell pretzel, but not like the yeasty pretzel. It is a different pretzel oil. Cinnamon sugar and nutmeg. Yeah. So this smells like the cinnamon sugar pretzels at like Annie Ann's. It's it's good though. It's really good. And the bakery dough, it's like a buttery, yummy. Ooh. That's good. Yum. I really like that. Mm. Now I do think it's interesting that she has a pre-order and then the ready to ship that's coming up. It's not the scents. I don't know. I feel like it, like you get them in souffles, you like them, and you want to order loaves, but that's not an option. No, just find that interesting. Next, we have Christmas Hearth, and it has a Christmas tree on it. Now, this is orange peel, spice, soft pine, and fireplace. Holy orange peel. Oh my gosh. That is like, that is like orange, orange, orange. 
my orange mulling spices. It smells like orange mulling spices. It's so pretty. It has red and green glitter and red wax. It smells like mulling spices and orange, but orange is like 85%. Oh my god. Wow, is that orangey. That's good though, but it's very orange. If you want like a uh, like warm, like almost like a mulled cidery spice scent, but you like not super spicy and you don't mind citrus, try this because it is very citrusy. Next we have milk and cookies for Santa, and there's a picture of Santa and a glass of milk. And this is eggnog, Mrs. Claus's cookies, and sugar cookies. I don't like this. It's pretty. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. It smells like plastic. I don't know if it's the eggnog oil or if it's the milk oil, because sometimes milk I don't like in wax. Mm -mm. Nope, it smells like, like plastic milk. I don't like it. Nope. Mm -mm. Next, Daydreamer. Now this is like totally different than the rest. So Daydreamer is lavender marshmallow, vanilla wafers, and birthday cake. And has like an outer space. I really did not like that eggnog. It smells like plastic. Purple. Herbal lavender. Like, okay, so to me, what does it say? Lavender marshmallow? Lavender marshmallow. It almost smells like the Johnson & Johnson's bubble bath. Like the lavender bubble bath. How it's like very herbal and calming and soothing. And then you get like creamy vanilla bakery, which is like vanilla wafers. This will be a really good sleep sleepy scent. But if you don't like herbal lavender, I don't think you'll like this, because I definitely pick up more on the, like, it smells like bubble bath with vanilla. It definitely, it definitely smells like Johnson & Johnson bubble bath. All right, now as far as loaves go, I picked up two loaves. The first one I picked up is Champagne Problems, and I picked this up because it's Cherries on Snow, Bubbly Champagne, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Cherries on Snow from Yankee Candle. That's what I smell. That's really all I smell. Is that Cherries on Snow. And like, I'm not a cherry fan at all. At all. But I don't know, it's something about Yankee's Cherries on Snow. It's like candied cherry. And like, just crispness. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if like the essence of like the outdoors is in it, like sparkling snow. And these bags are super thick. I love it. Oh my god, this is so good. I don't pick up on the champagne or the vanilla bean Noel, honestly. I just pick up cherries on snow, and that's a strong scent. That is gonna be a good loaf. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then the last loaf that I got is a peppermint marshmallow cake. And this is peppermint cream and marshmallow cake. Love scents like this, and that loaf is gorgeous. It smells like Bath and Butter with peppermint marshmallow. Mm-hmm. That, uh, that, like, that, like, bubble, not bubble gum, but, like, that, like, super sweet vanilla marshmallow. Like, super sweet vanilla marshmallow. And then a creamy peppermint. When those two blend together, it's like, it's like heaven scent. And I love this. Mm. And that will be such a good nighttime scent because peppermint at night for me, I have been really into, especially in the winter. And now I have a whole loaf of it. Love. And the label's so cute. It's like a little red cake stand with a gingerbread on top of a cake. Yum. That was my box. I'm super excited. Um, some scents I'm not too crazy for, but of course I will melt them. Again, Salt Mount is a new to me vendor, so I'm going to let her stuff cure for at least a month from the pour date. Love that she puts pour dates on there. And yeah, let me know if you guys tried anything from Salt Mount Melts or what I should try next time. What are some of your favorite scents? I know there's one Heat Wave, I think, from um, Two Quick Wicks. She loves Heat Wave. 
Lexi. So I think that's one I really need to try. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I should try, if there's other new vendors that I should try. This is like a new to me vendor week. Super excited about that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell in the corner of the screen so that way you're alerted every time I upload on YouTube. Be kind and I love you. Bye.